Hi everybody, this is Hondo Carpenter from Spartan Nation, part of the Maven Sports Illustrated channels. And recently, New Michigan State defensive coordinator Scotty Hazelton talked about his relationship with Mel Tucker and what got him to make the move from Kansas State to East Lansing. Well, you know, um, it, it was great actually. Uh, Coach Tucker called me, you know, one day. Uh, you know, it was I guess it was probably only about a month ago, and uh, asked me if I'd be interested and. And of course, I, I was, you know, mostly. I mean, there's there's lots of different reasons why why Michigan State would draw a person, you know. And and I've been you know, telling the story a little bit, but you know, first of all, Coach Tucker, you know, every, everybody that you know that knows him and says great things about him, he's a great defensive mind, and, and and you can learn a lot of ball from him. But I think that that's, you know, the first thing that you say, okay, hey, that that draws you to it, you know, being in a good working relationship with a guy and a guy that that knows and understands defense that you can also. You know, it's like having another assistant coach on staff that you can pick their brains. Um, except, you know, he's, he's been a coordinator everywhere, so it's even better than that a lot of times. Um, you know, the second thing, you know, when he starts talking to me about it, I, you know, as, as a football coach, you track, you know, who's good and what and who's doing what. So, And Michigan State has always been great on defense, and it's one of the things that kind of, you know, you, you go around and, and you can meet kids and kind of see what their pedigree is and their background, and I know that, you know, these guys are guys that run to the ball. That they, they they work their balls off to just try to do right, and they and they strain to get to it. And you can cover up a lot of mistakes with that. And just seeing that mentality that's been built. You know, even talking to the older guys on the team. You know, they're football guys who understand ball and want to get better at ball and have you know bigger goals in life. So that trains the younger guys, and everyone comes through that. And that and that was a very interesting thing to me, just to get into their heads a little bit to see what what draws them to play, to play the sport and do that thing. So, you know, those things. And, and then, you know, when I came up, really it was about the relationships with Coach Tucker and some of the guys on the staff because the staff had really been hired, you know, at least all the full-time guys had been. And so just having a chance to sit down and, and talk to, you know, Coach Tressel and Coach Barnett and Coach Burton and, you know, Coach Ells and just get to know them and just see how that room was really going to work because I think we're all mature enough guys and, and and kind of been in this business long enough that you would say, listen, if if there's going to be some person, personality conflicts or things like that, you know, there's going to be some clashes. It's a hard it's a hard working environment for anybody. But when I got up here, it was a deal that was, uh, you know, they're all great people. You know, they're great people first, which is nice because there's a lot of there's a lot of good knowledge of football and there's a lot of wisdom in that room now, and and we can bounce ideas off each other. So that was that was very attractive to me also. One thing the Spartan Nation can be very excited about is no matter what got him here, Scotty Hazelton's one of the fastest rising, recognized young defensive coordinators with a bright future, and Mel Tucker getting him here was his first biggest recruiting success. Keep it tuned right here to Spartan Nation for the latest on Michigan State football.